I am 42. My metabolic age is 36. So I, uh, pain started, but it is not for my wife. It is started for me. <laughs> it almost like 20 years I was living with it. It our consultancies I was doing only the blood test uh, in India, and I was finally find the speak, which is affordable in India. Buck Speaks Live, where we talk all things gut health, and we have a very special guest with us today. And without further ado, I will request uh, him to join for this session. Yeah, finally. Yeah, hi there. Yes. So uh, we have with us IT professional turned a uh, passionate health and lifestyle coach Mr. Madhav with us today. Thank you all for joining. I'll just pin a comment about what the session is all about. So Mr. Madhav, could you please tell a little bit about yourself and you know your background? Yeah, sure. So uh, from the childhood I was like very interested in movies like cartoons. So I started my career as a FX artist and then become a supervisor and I work for very big movies like uh, uh, big Hollywood movies, uh, all the animation movies, uh, like mostly Kung Fu Panda, Madagascar, those things. And I was happy and uh, I moved to Canada when COVID started, it's like work from home. Like every, like uh, from the starting, I was eating right uh, because I have a lots of health issues when i was a kid but i'm not sure i got the right treatment or not because uh, most of the doctors treat uh, like symptoms based treatment right so they don't find the root cause so i was suffered a lot as a child so from the childhood i was like okay i i want to eat very good food because i have a health complications so i started eating very good food and i started doing my a uh, little bit of workout here and there like on and off it's not like a super uh, interested in building muscle or something because i'm not sure like do we need muscle i i don't have any idea about the health i was like a just a general guy who is following like a good diet and good lifestyle without any bad effort, bad habits so i don't drink i don't smoke nothing so uh, when we moved to canada we have like two kids at the time and i was like uh, uh, we are planned for another kid uh, because in Canada we need more people because we, we are the only relatives for us like it's a small family is not good so we plan for the third kid and everything is going good and it's like uh, uh, delivery time is reaching it's my wife's uh, it's around eighth month I think yeah eighth month ending so in a month there is a delivery so we are on that night I think I remember still like we are talking about uh, okay what to do next like uh, it's a covid time so there is no option to bring the parents how we can take care both so we are just talking like that but uh, yeah at night two o'clock i think yeah night one or two o'clock uh, pain started but it is not for my wife it is started for me <laughs> i'm yeah so i was like a, suddenly it's a very severe back pain uh, means like like that is the first time experience for me and i was like shocked i was like literally crying but i uh, i was in silent because my wife may be panicked because of this but she woke up and saw me and like what happened i said like it's a, like a severe back pain i never experienced this then <clears throat> i called to emergency ambulance came and they took me they did all the tests like scanning blood test urine test everything and they finally concluded that uh, i have a kidney stone issues so, so from the childhood i was like very cautious about health and i was following good diet no junk foods nothing and i was eating well i drink water well but still i got the kidney stones so then i realized like okay what is happening what is wrong with me and then i started exploring towards nutrition is it is that food I was what I was taking is right or not <clears throat> so that was the beginning of my journey two years almost two years back mm -hmm. simultaneously I was doing my job and I was exploring more and I started interested in uh, learning uh, functional nutrition uh, because functional 
nutrition is like a uh, different when compared to normal one in normal one we will just like if you go to the any uh, simple nutritionist they will suggest you like some diet plan and all uh, they don't bother about like what is happening inside so when i start, started learning functional functional nutrition i realized that it is the thing we need because you know see some people gain weight without eating much some people get mm. Uh, diseases even they don't have any any habits one of my relative he don't have anything means like um, he don't smoke uh, he don't drink alcohol still he got the cancer and he died at the age of 34 it's a sad news for me and i was like scared like well, okay what is happening even if we have a good lifestyle uh, people are who are drinking much alcohol they are living <laughs> a longer mm-hmm. time and some people who are cautious they are getting diseases so i was started exploring more and more then i realized okay uh it's like around 63% of the body is controlled by some of other species which are called bugs bugs means like a pathogens uh viral uh, virus bacteria fungus these things so i started exploring that and i was learning and in, even in uh, our uh, functional nutrition course it was mostly related to the gut related issues so whatever uh, means like if i see something finally it is going to the gut if i see weight plus problem gut thyroid problem gut kidney stone issues gut everything is linking to the gut so i was like wondered what well, what is this happening <laughs> because see everything is connected to the gut and i was like uh, okay let me explore more and then i started uh, uh, fx nutrition uh, i completed it's a one year course and it's very in depth course related to the gut and uh, human body uh, that is what my journey is so as as you said that from a ch- from childhood you were conscious about your food about everything even then you faced uh the issues right so uh like how did you you know what was the first time when you were interested in health and wellness in your life the first time that you know you were interested about yeah see uh means like i was eating right and everything is good uh, but always i was wondered like uh, uh my stomach issue uh from the childhood my mother is saying like okay you have a like weak tum- weak stomach uh everyone in the house eating the same food but whenever i eat the food i feel like uh like a uh, burning sensation after eating food i i feel burning sensation i immediately go to the washroom so i thought like okay this is the common thing because my mother told me that i have a weak gut it means like weak stomach so i was living with it almost like 20 years i was living with it have food <laughs> go to washroom that is a common mm-hmm. common thing but when i started learning this i realized that and I, and after coming back uh, coming to canada i went to the doctor just to see like because in canada medical is free uh, i was paying uh, lots of taxes so i just want to check general check up i went to the doctor and they said like okay we will go through some breath test and they checked it and they said like you are suffering with h pylori i was like what this h pylori and then i was started exploring it and then doctor said like okay you may uh, in your family maybe your wife is also affected with it we have to take treatment so mm-hmm. then we both took the treatment and it's like a triple antibiotics very strong antibiotics and then at the time i was not into the nutrition so we did the uh, treatment but we don't know means like what was the follow up we have to do because mm-hmm. doctor didn't men- didn't mention anything like they said like okay use this one and then just do it we did it but mm-hmm. they didn't told me to use probiotics improve your gut this is what mm-hmm. happening means like after using triple antibiotics it will kill good and bad bacteria so you have to take care of the gut they didn't mention anything because doctors are not worried about like what is happening next they will fix immediately what is happening now so it's a sad part uh, but now we are cautious about gut uh, everything goes to gut it's a gut feeling i know like how you can see me back like here it's gut and here it's brain it's communicating each other 
so yeah if i am happy if gut is happy i am happy absolutely i have i have a clients all over the world i mean so i have clients from uh, dubai india canada us yes, yeah. and australia and london so yeah, yeah i do online uh, uh, consultancies and online diet plans and uh, online uh, discovery first we will start with the discovery call in the discovery call we will find and we will suggest so yeah uh, when i was uh, before when i started the consultancies i was doing only the blood test uh and, right. and with blood markers we don't get complete information then i was looking for some other options uh, but most of the 90% of the my clients from india and uh, there are very good options uh, in us for the gut related uh, like a stool test gmr test and i was wondering is there anything in india and i was finally find the speak which is affordable the main thing is like a, and uh, i checked their price and means like your uh price which is like reasonable uh when i compared with the other uh, uh plans in india means the other companies are also doing it but i'm not sure and i saw some com- companies are using your technology means like a rich bayam company background but they are charging more than the bucks speak so yeah with the gmr test i was like uh, using for my clients and they are uh, we can find like what is happening inside gut instead of like blindly giving the diet plan or blindly following some protocol uh, because uh, if we follow wrong protocol it will damage more because it's it's the gut thing right uh, okay. for example some people have uh, like skin issues but the skin issues is because of fungus or uh, uh, like bacteria we don't know right whether it is uh, coming from fungus or or bacteria or some like uh, pathogens we don't know but with bug speak report we can analyze it. okay this is this may be the cause so we can go from that protocol that is how uh, it helps me uh, in my nutrition right so we basically we can identify all microorganisms which obviously we cannot see or understand the functioning normally so uh, have you come you know encountered with people who are not willing to go for the test because it is you know you know collecting stool sample so have you no uh, real, actually people are willing to do it uh, easily uh, right. because when i explain them like how easy it is it is not like a difficult process and uh, you no need to go anywhere it is uh, it is very comfortable in your home and uh, the kit and the uh, instructions are very clear and easy to use so uh, i didn't get any regret from my clients any time like oh stool test no <laughs> no uh, i didn't get any one because most of them are like ready to, willing to do uh, yeah but the thing is like they don't know there is a test like this that is the biggest problem yeah so any tips any you know hacks that has worked for you and that you know have you passed on to your you know to whom you help like first thing is like uh, prevention is better than cure so please don't damage the gut so in india it's common if you get a cold if you get a cough take an antibiotic cold and cough is not related to the bacteria it's related to the virus but we will still take the antibiotics we'll go to the medical shop and i will ask whatever name we know we'll just ask the uh, medicine and we'll take, take it if you see uh, i saw latest article like around 56 to 70, uh, 60% of the indian people are like uh, resistant to antibiotics now means like re- antibiotics are not working on them because they are because of the over uses and i saw like a resistance in the bug speak we will get the resistance right antibiotic resistance scale then i realized like how many people are using the antibiotics so please stop using antibiotics to keep your gut healthy uh, we are lucky because when we came to canada uh, whenever there is a fever I means like whenever my kids are getting some fever we go to the doctor and say like okay this is what happened and uh, doctor says like how many days it happened it's from two days okay wait for four more days okay uh, here they don't suggest antibiotics at all no way even for the elder people they don't for kids it it's completely zero they will ask us to wait for one week and come back uh shockingly it is like in one week it is going back means like everything is settled 
but in india we are more panic and we go to the doctor and we ask them and if the doctor suggests very good high doses antibiotic the doctor is very good <laughs> because it cures in one day <laughs> yeah so uh, my suggestion is like don't use antibiotics that is the first thing so yeah that, that is the first thing and the second one is like yeah so, so and the second one is like if you started using any antibiotics or anything please go and check about your gut health and uh, means like if there is a condition you have to use antibiotics very seriously because antibiotics are like life savers i'm not saying no to antibiotics completely if there is a need if the doctor is suggested use it but don't use it on your own okay once you're done with the antibiotic treatment or anything like h pylori treatment it's a very strong treatment right so then you just go through the uh, your gmr and check what is lack of means like what type of bacteria is lacking in your gut and take good probiotics means like start with the food kefir kombucha those uh, like fermented drinks our indian food like uh, uh, curd rice simple things you can start with simple things if you need more then go for the probiotics that is what i say and another thing is like overweight so most of the people nowadays it's like overweight if you see but in india yeah, like in other countries you see like, like obesity uh, means like people are very uh, obese like very fat but in india we don't see as a obesity but people inside there is a completely fat visceral they have like more visceral fat than outside fat people in india uh we see them like a uh, like a normal person but inside there is a more visceral fat around your organs which is more dangerous than normal like fatty person it's like yeah. a uh, thin inside fat, uh, sorry fat inside thin outside something is there <laughs> i forgot that but yeah people looks like fat but they have so much fat around the belly area so it impacts gut bacteria as well actually it's uh, yeah. uh, it's difficult to judge because of gut bacteria also you will get more visceral fat if you have imbalanced gut bacteria you will get more visceral fat if you have more visceral fat it is like a cycle it will go through the cycle and it will make you more worse right so basically we have to you know uh, be aware of you know not being in a sedentary lifestyle Yes. Move a bit and eat clean so that clean. the toxins are moving out of the system. Uh, yeah. Basically, another another thing is like most of the time we eat outside like normal food, uh, like uh, they like packaged foods. They have like preservatives and artificial sweeteners. So those two yeah. things can alter your gut bacteria. Uh, so like uh, most of the people who watch my channel, Mr. Mother channel. Uh, they comment like, okay, my grandparents are eating this and they don't have any issues. But your grandparents and our parents and our childhood, uh, we don't have this much processed food. Even so, it's like everything, like, like all the processed processed foods contains preservatives. Preservatives means what? Like uh, it can preserve for longer time, right? It it is very hard to break by the bacteria. So whenever you eat high preservative foods, again, it's the same thing inside your stomach your bugs like good bugs can't break the food properly so it will impact your gut bacteria again so don't eat preserve preservatives added foods and artificial foods go for the whole foods yes these are like poisons like yes uh, we don't see it but the poisons are very tasty yeah, and yummy it's like a slow poison yeah it's a slow poison actually right. Uh, hi sir, candidase tablets can uh, cure fungus permanently? Yeah, so the thing is like a candidase or uh, like a fungus related things. Uh, there is a protocol to follow. Uh, not a single medicine is a magic. Means like if you take some medication, uh, it's, it's not uh, like a uh, right cure. Because most of the time, uh, like even in candidase, there are like a five to six type of strains. So we have to find which strain is bothering you more. And mm -hmm. then you have to change the lifestyle changes as well. Because see, uh, your gut is affected by multiple things. The environment, uh, like whatever food you are taking, uh, stress levels, uh, so many things. Means like, <clears throat> so because of that, we can't uh, clear out all the fungus related issues. Uh, 
fully using one medication and even if you use high doses of medications it may go but it will come back again because if you in your family if you have if in your family if someone is having the same type of problem it's it, it is easy to transfer so it's better to change uh, like a lifestyle and follow mm -hmm. the protocol right so uh, whenever people stay close in contact they have the same kinds of environment they have the same they eat the same kind of diet on a daily basis so that's how and for some people that might work for someone just like in your case in your family everyone was eating the same meal but it was affecting you only you yes. because everybody's gut is uh, yes. unique everyone's even twins have yes. different gut profiles so yes uh, thank you yeah, so much i hope that how, how yeah how we, our thumbnails are ma not matching uh, even gut bacteria we will develop our own gut bacteria uh, like uh, if you have dogs in your home, you have a different gut bacteria. Right. Yes. Pets, you know, outside environment, soil, and everything yeah, yeah. is affecting. Yeah, everything counts. Everything yeah. counts. So, so, like one medicine, we cannot tell that it can cure or do that. So yeah, that's why. yeah. See, so, someone uh, like uh, if one of the food is super food for you, it is a poison for someone else because of the gut bacteria exactly. because you don't have that uh, that type of strengths which can break down that food right yeah yes so uh, another there's another question uh, what is what what is basic test we should do in annual checkup to know about our gut okay so uh, so basically uh, i can uh, take this up uh, this question uh, yes, so yeah. we uh, basically it's a gut test uh, you know that is take your that will see your stool microbiota stool sample and will check the microbiota profile the little universe that is inside of us which is very huge actually so we will see the profile of that and uh, it it can be done quarterly uh, within three months within six months uh, within a year so in that way you can do as you know however it is uh, possible to each individual but generally we recommend to do after every three months because uh, our gut is variable it is changing so we go to a wedding it is changing we go to a vacation you know for some days it will change uh, we take different kinds of food our diet changes our stress levels our sleep cycle so different uh, factors will uh, affect the profile so that's why it's a very rapidly changing thing that has to be on check. We have to keep it on check. But yes, there should be a basic uh, diet that should be followed for each individual. And that is unique uh, for each individual. So uh, you can take it as an annual checkup also. Uh, but also you can, you know, uh, general recommendation is every three months if you take, you get a better picture of your gut. So it's a functional test, as uh, Mr. Madhav, uh, you know, initially mentioned. Prevention is better than cure. So it's like every anybody can take this test. So uh, it's irrespective of someone has, you know, some problem or they are suffering from any condition. Irrespective of that, uh, anybody can take this test so that they can learn more about their gut. So yeah, that is one and. Uh, uh, Mr. Madhav, you have been also recommending our test. So, uh, what kind of insights have you seen? If any special case, I mean, you know, you have seen improvement. Like, yes, yeah. In your, uh, I, 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 I did a couple of tests for uh, ADHD problem kids. So I see like there is uh, their uh, rich biome index is very low, actually point minus point five. Mm -hmm. uh, based on our gut report, uh, we, it should be in three point five to five or six, something like that but uh, most of the people are having like uh, one uh, 1.25 but the pe people like but the kid for the kids it is like very low like minus 0.5 who are suffering with autism and adhd problems yeah uh, rich in just, just a background rich index is a proprietary matrix that we have a uh, bucks has created so it's basically it um, uh, uh, has a lot of different parameters involved in it uh, and it gives a score. The score helps you to identify if you know different states of your gut. Uh, you know the diseased and you know uh, healthy and unhealthy states of gut can be uh, decided. So any exercise to improve gut. Okay. Yes. Yes.
So maintaining muscle is the thing. Uh, so strength training yes. makes you stronger inside and outside. Yeah, because like when I started when I started eating good food, my skin was like started changing it. And after certain time, it was stopped. Means like whatever food I eat, uh, means like I don't see any changes. I thought like okay, this is fine. But when I started the strength training, and again my skin started changing and improved a lot. So yeah, yeah. and again uh, like whatever food I eat, uh, digestion is very good. My stool movements are good after starting the strength training. Yes, yeah. because our muscles, you know, now our cells are hungry. They are ready to take up the glucose yeah. for also diabetes management. Also, strength training is proved to be very good. Uh, so. Yes, yeah, because diabetes is completely related to the gut. Uh, most of the people are thinking like, okay, is it because of uh, uh, like lifestyle? It is. Uh, it is a lifestyle disease. I'm hundred percent sure, but there is a gut is also involved in it. Right. Like I, I don't give any blind suggestions or blind diet plans. Uh, I will go through the reports. I will do the stool test. I will do the blood markers. Based on that, I will do individual plans. Uh, uh, I try to find the root cause and fix the root cause. So it will. It is the right treatment. We can take up all the questions. Core workouts also it's included with the muscles, right? Core. Uh, for, because the stomach is placed over here, if we do the core <laughs> muscle, it will improve the gut health. It is not like that. We have to improve overall muscle quality and quantity right yeah so uh, after 30 years we started losing our muscle right so if you keep that muscle then it helps you in maintaining your health so metabolic phase you have to reverse it and i for i forgot to tell you like when i started my journey my metabolic phase when i was 40 my metabolic phase is 42 I mean, mm -hmm. like my organs uh is now i am 42 my metabolic age is 36 means like my i was reversing my age because wow. of that is yeah because of improving my gut health taking good food good sleep right what right yeah absolutely so you have to reverse you can reverse it actually right, right. Yeah. Uh, at the starting, we will check every marker. Like we don't check just weight. We will check your muscle percentage, bone percentage, uh, water weight, visceral fat, everything. We check all, all the markers. Based on that, we will do the diet plan and we will suggest the uh, supplementations. And then we will reverse your age, like right. three to five years, based on your conditions. Amazing. So I think on that note. Uh, all these points, you know, these are the key takeaways. Eat right, sleep well, no over the counter medications, uh, yeah. listen to your body, what it is saying, you know, the symptoms and everything. And uh, yeah, so take care of yourself, your gut, and you'll see uh, how you know you can improve. And uh, yeah, so Mr. Madhav, you are really doing uh, it's very difficult actually when somebody is facing an issue in their life. And at that point, you think of it, you know, that no, we have awakening, the awakening and not letting that bog, bog you down rather than, you know, going forward to help others. That's a really uh, great step. And um, yeah, I wish you all the very yeah. best on your journey towards improving and towards yeah, the thing, uh, the thing, the thing, awareness. Yeah, the thing is like uh, uh, people are getting people are not getting right treatment so like if you see some skin disease they go to the dermatologist and they will give you some lotions and you will apply it nothing happens right because you have to clean you have to cure inside skin of your stomach it's like inside lining it was spoiled because of the improper gut means like improper bacteria mm -hmm. and fungus if you clear that and if you make it proper then the outside skin is healed automatically right Yes. So, uh, inside out, <laughs> we can yes. say that you know you have to you know detoxify. You have to eat right, and you have to keep yourself uh, like clean inside out, right? Yes. So, on that note, uh, Mr. Mother, uh, thank you so much, and have a great day ahead. It, it was early morning uh, there yes. at your place, so thank you so much for joining in on our session. 
and uh, to everyone who is watching thank you so much for being here